All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm for Many of you guys were requesting the Blackwing list that you all saw yesterday, and everybody was like, oh my god, Blackwings are doing something? And I also read in some of my comments, people were like, oh my god, you played as a thought in my, my shitty turbo deck. He <laughs> he, like, guys, duh. man, people just love shitting on innovation, and it is absolutely hilarious, some of the things I read from this. So, DBC Malice is a huge... Blackwing fan, and I mean like, this man's, he he sends me, I have an entire PM list of him for replays, and entire things, and now of course I can't actually cover everything, because, I mean, we could sit here and we could produce 45 Blackwing replays and show off deck more, I should probably tuck a couple more of these into a video for you guys, but I think getting the best chance to see some of the things that this deck is really capable of, along with some other cool stuff. I definitely think um, there, there's a little bit more to see. Um, I do have a couple of other replays saved for this as well that I will eventually dump up, um, just to say the least. But yeah, there's a lot you can actually do with this. And um, maxing out a triple Lavinier is actually... So, I do want to say, must be first special summon by banishing three light and or dark monsters from your graveyard. When you special summon this guy, you'll basically be able to shuffle one random card from your opponent's hand into the deck. Um, actually, this is a little bit better than I think people are going to give this credit for. Um, I do like this in this particular deck because A, 3,000 body, A, you get the spot removal on turn one when you're building your board. And I, who doesn't love the fact that, okay, cool, so we can go Lavinier turn one, set up as a thought, pass the turn on over to our opponent. And, you know, it's... It, it's not particularly a bad idea. I'm, I like posting these ideas because it gives people really the chance to test these theories and refine them themselves. And I do think that knowledge, well, knowledge literally is power, especially in a format like this where people are constantly looking to explore things. Now, I, I do know that a few people are going to look at this deck and be like, oh man, there's, there's a lot of brick here. And yes, I do agree. Um, to beginning to the end might be too much in some people's opinion because you know if you hard draw this you know it is essentially a brick until you get seven or more darks in the graveyard that you're able to combo off with this obviously climbing link ladders and things like that will put more materials in your graveyard and okay sure as we're climbing and dumping and doing things like that you know at the end of the day sure we'll get places but I do hard think that this is a brick. Um, I also know a few people be like, really, he's playing Regeki? So, Regeki is one of those interesting cards that it is a free board wipe. Um, it doesn't generate anything else. Um, I almost want to compare it to Monster Reborn, but Monster Reborn does have the ability to be an extender in today's format. And, I mean, extenders, they, they only grant so much. Um, outside of that... Um, three copies of Lavinier seems a little bit bricky in terms of numbers. I don't see any issue with that, honestly. I do think that in the long run, sure, it's fine because you do want to draw this and be able to summon it. Um, it's just, if I hard draw this and I hard draw this, ugh, we're not going to be having the best time. Now, I do want to say, before we dig into the deck profile here, Black Wings have been around for the longest time. Um, it's kind of cool to see that the deck has evolved into a combo deck, and I do think by today's standards that this is probably one of the better variants out there. Now, I do know um, Malice is testing interesting builds with danger and stuff. If we get some likes on this video, I'll try to get those lists for you guys as well, especially going into next format here um, with possible ban list on the horizon. You know, I think people are going to be curious to see kind of what's going on here. So let's dig on into this, shall we? So we have two copies of Oster the Southwind. When this guy is normal summoned, you can target one of your level four or lower Blackwing monsters that is banished and splash summon in defense mode. And then you can banish this card from your graveyard to place a Black Feather counter on a Blackwing dragon you control, or you can place a Wedge counter on a face-up monster your opponent controls. Uh, basically, you're going to combo this with Sahania for his stuff. Um, we're only playing one copy of Blizzard, the Far North. Um, same thing as Oster, but from the graveyard. Special summoning level 4 or lower can't be special summoned. I do like how some of these earlier Black Wings had these rather hard stipulations of cannot be special summoned. Um, it was very clear that uh, these cards are dated. Uh, we have triple copies of Bore of the Spear. This is going to be your essential extender um, as you're going to be taking your turns and stuff, special summoning. Um, you can just unload as many of these as you want. Um, okay, so 
Blackwing Gale the Whirlwind. Once again, another extender special summon. Um, it is acting as a tuner in the deck as well. Uh, we have one copy of Harmaton the Dust. If you control Blackwing other than Harmaton, you can special summon this guy. You only special summon one of him once per turn. I do like how Bora and Gale have the restrictions of, okay, cool, you can do as many as you want, but they restricted the newer ones. So you, you get one Harmaton, uh, two copies of Chris the Crack of Dawn, and then you have Spell and Trap protection on himself coming in in a 1900 body which isn't too terrible uh, we have one copy of Hiroshi the Squall another special summon extender um, yeah nothing else to, too crazy about this now this is the heart and soul of your deck uh, Samoon if you control no monsters you can and you have this card in your hand you can banish one of the black wing monsters from your hand to place one black whirlwind from your deck face up in your spell and trap card zone and then immediately after this effect resolves you get to summon this guy and then of course you'll get to resolve your whirlwind this was everything that this deck needed and more and they wrapped it all up in a nice little bundle and said all right here you go enjoy your nice little piece of candy and it works out so well for this deck uh, one copy of Zephyros, you still have to play this. This is your essential extender. This is going to be the piece that is going to lay, allow you to combo extend a little bit further. Now, as I said, we are playing triple copies of Lavinier. Another boss monster that we get the chance to draw pressure cards out of our opponent's hand, which is kind of something that Black Wings need. Um, being able to eat away those resources, I think, is something good in the long run um, that I just don't think Black Wings really had much of a chance to kind of explore. Now, we are playing the Phantom Knight engine because ranking up into Azathoth is what this deck wants to do. So, we have one copy of Ancient Cloak, two copies of Silent Boots, nothing too special to note here. Uh, we do play triple copies of Lure Darkness. Your entire deck is essentially dark, so you're going to be like, turbo, 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 draw, 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 draw. Uh, we are playing triple copies of Black Whirlwind, um, the best spell card in the deck, honestly. Setting this up off of Simone, allowing you to kind of do what you want to do is really good. Um, now, we are playing one copy of Foolish Barrel, drop whichever piece you need into the graveyard, aka Zephyros. One copy of Monster Reborn, another essential extender. Uh, literally, it's all this card says is just extend and go. Uh, two copies of Desires. You don't really care what you banish in this deck, honestly. Um, I do think that you should be careful, obviously, when you play this. Um, you might want to do this at the beginning of your combo if you've got, like... Simone, Whirlwind, you know, go down that route and then Desires afterwards. Um, I do think one of the mistakes people make when playing a combo deck like this is they desire at the wrong time. Just pay attention to your resource pool and things like that and you'll be fine. So there is that. Uh, one copy of Regeki for board wipes. Two copies of Beginning of the End, aka the Big Giant Brick. Uh, one copy of the Rank Up Spell card. Literally just Rank Up the Redoer and go. <laughs> no real comment there. One copy of Upstart, and then we have one Fog Blade, one Shade Brigadine. Literally just essential pieces that you're going to need, or, yeah, staples for the Phantom Knight engine. Now, the extra deck down here, we have one copy of Wee Witch's Apprentice, one Underclock Taker, one copy of Trisbania, one copy of Rusty Tin Can himself. This card is so broken. Being able to, to just combo into this, uh, so dumb. One copy of Unicorn, one copy of Boral Sword, just for your OTK pushes. Uh, one copy of Borolo Dragon, one copy of Time Thief Redoer, and as a thought. Um, and then we get some more interesting stuff here. Uh, we do play the one copy of Cyber's Quantum Dragon, uh, one Boral Savage Dragon. Actually, Boral Savage is. <sighs> I, I love this card so much. Uh, one copy of Obsidian Hawk Joe, one copy of Full Armor Master himself, one copy of Nothung and one Chidori. Um, outside of that, I mean, the extra deck is very standardized for what you're going to be seeing in Black Wings. There's, there's not a lot of things that you can really do in the long run. I mean, okay, so there, there's a lot of things that you can do, but it's it's interesting. Uh, the side deck here, we do have triple copies of Radeon, Dark Kaiju. Um, if you draw it, you're able to unload it and do what you need to do with it. Uh, we have triple copies of Hatronade, Massive Back Row, Spot removal is very good. Triple copies of evenly matched, triple copies of ghost and match, and triple copies of red reboot. Wrapping this up, so this is just one of the many, many interesting list that I have seen come from DBZ Malice. Um, I hope that this will spark some creativity for you Blackwing players out there. I'd like to hear your guys' comments on these lists as well. DBZ Malice, of course, thank you, sir, for always constantly sending me all of this information. I do hope. Once again, 
that people will test these ideas, try to innovate things. And I mean, that's one of the things I like to do on this channel is just show cool, crazy new ideas. So what do you guys think? Please so comment down below to what you guys think. And well, guys, I'm out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancol40 for some awesome Vanger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.